So in these, uh, this is going to help us with planning uh, for the future. Sometimes we want to see is what did the loan value be at some time in the middle of the loan, not just uh, we know it's going to get paid off. But uh, so question twenty nine is going to answer that question for us. Uh, we've got Emily who bought a car for $24,000 three years ago. Now, we've got to make an assumption here because it doesn't say, but we have to assume that she borrowed all that $24,000. That's all we can tell. So the loan amount must have been $24,000. Uh, the loan had a five-year term, so that's going to go down here. It's monthly uh, because car loans are always paid monthly. So some assumptions we have to make. So 12 times 5, it had to have a 60-month term on it, 3% interest. And at the beginning, uh, when they do the calculations, they would have been projecting a, a future value of zero at the end of five years. So we click on the button, and this is going to tell us uh, what her payment should have been or is, right? $431.25. It comes up negative because that's money she has to pay each month. It goes away from her. And now we come back to the story that we are, Emily's actually three years into this car payment, and she wants to know how much does she owe on the car. Um, so what we're going to do is now that we know what the payment is, we know all the details, all we're going to do is we're going to change the number of months, not make it 60, but we're only going to go three years into this, which will be 36, and then we'll calculate what the future value is at that point. So most everything's the same. It's still monthly. The, the initial balance or the initial loan is still 24000 The payment is still $431.25 that we calculated, still 3% interest. But what we're going to do is she's now only three years into this loan. 12 times 3, 36. She's made 36 payments. We want to see what is owed on this. And we can do that by clicking on the future value. And we see that 36 payments into this loan, it would still have a balance of $10,033 and 37 cents. Notice it's negative because this is money that's going to have to be paid back. Okay. If it works for cars, it certainly works for mortgages as well. So we can help out our friend here who we find out uh, they bought a house 15 years ago with a 30-year loan. So they're halfway through their loan. So we're going to do this calculation to help them find out how much they owe right now. So they took out a a loan for 120000 that's what we're told. It's got a 6% interest rate. It was initially a 30-year loan. It still is, but uh, they took it out for 30 years. It's going to be a monthly payment. Again, that's an assumption, but pretty safe one with the mortgage loan. 12 times 30 is 360. Uh, it would have been projected to have a future value of zero at the end of 30 years if the loan was done. So then when we click on the payment key, we find out that the payment to make all this happen is $719.46. Now to kind of figure out what she's, uh, our friend still owes on it, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use most of these values, but we're going to change the number of payments that there's only been 180 made. Okay, so we bring everything over. Again, you will just leave these as is in your screen. Negative 7, 19, 46. Future value, we're going to leave blank. 6% still there. We're still going to leave this as 12 and monthly. The part we need to change is this is going to be 180 payments. So 12 times 15. We're only 15 um, years into this loan. We've made 180 payments, or our friend has. Click on the future value, and it shows that our friend still owes 85000 $258.80. Okay. Uh, it's interesting. They're halfway through the payments. They've made 180 out of 360 payments, but the loan is not halfway gone. 
and that's the way interest works. Remember, we pay the most interest at the beginning of the loan. Towards the end of the loan, we're paying more and more principal. So hopefully you see out of these things, these two examples, if you want to pay a, a, a loan off early, whether it's a car payment or a house payment, you need to make those plans right away. You need to start paying additional payments right away. Don't wait till later because later you've already paid most of your interest already. Uh, so to save yourself on interest, start paying an extra $100 a month right away and you'll get your loans paid off faster.